Jason Harrison, welcome to another edition of What's It Scammels this week. This is coming up for Monday the 20th of July. Let's start it straight off now with a fabulous Chesterfield lounge suite. Deep button back, I'll get off it. Have a look at this one now. It has a lovely wing back. Does uh, is part of an entire set. Uh, this one's a little bit daggy on this side, but uh, with the three-seater as well, fantastic. These sell really, really well. Um, this one can probably be repaired. Great thing about Chesterfields like this is they've actually been worn in nicely. So you don't uh, sit on the new ones, you bounce straight off it. This one here, you actually lounge around. Beautiful. Over this way, and then we'll come back to the top. Quite a nice, old, lovely pair. White and orange together. Um, we used to throw these out, couldn't get a dollar for them now. Uh, you're looking at probably around about $80 to $100 for the pair. These are as retro as you can get now, Brady Bunch-esque. Over this eye, something completely different. Turquoise blue, grandmother, grandfather chairs. I actually quite like them. They're quite nice. Again, it's done, been done beautifully. It's just a very, very bright color, offset by the purple straight next to it. We move on. A little bit of Siebel. Uh, this one's um, quite a nice piece. The Siebel, uh, maybe not so much with the velour upholstery, but the, uh, the chair itself is in fabulous condition. Really nice, very, very collectible. Um, we've also got next to that is a, I'll just leave it like that for the moment, um, a lovely uh, three-piecer. Um, this uh, pulls apart um, or comes back together for a three-piece. Uh, quite a nice one. Upholstery is in really good condition for uh, the age of it. Over this way, just follow me round. Floral, we'll ignore that. I don't like floral, um, as we all know. Castiglione style of lamp, lovely, very collectible, reproduction. Um, but still, if you're fitting out a residence, you like that sort of architectural black and white look, this is the one to buy. Uh, lots of chairs in this week, uh, plants, uh, dresses, the whole lot. Kitchen table, uh, sold one of these, uh, as I said, a few weeks ago for around about $500. Uh, completely blew us away. Uh, very, very collectible pieces. Travertine, you never go past travertine. These are great. I reckon everyone needs a bit of travertine in their life. Um, very inexpensive. You're looking at you know, under $50 a table. Very, very heavy. Knee knockers, middle of the night, come stumbling down for a glass of water. Take out the middle of your shin. That's what these are actually for. Let's head this way. More chairs, really nice in the Regency style. Um, nice table as well. Cedar, lovely size in this one as well. Um, so looking at um, a really nice Victorian one around about 1880s, 1890s. But lovely little kitchen table. So it's a cute little piece. If you've got a smaller kitchen and you want to fit out in the country style, these are actually quite hard to find. Normally they come in sixes or eight footers. Um, but a small, so it's about four and a half foot. Really nice TV. Even at the back of it, this is all, this is one of the brand new 3D models of TV. Um, Great TV, um, again, very inexpensive to, uh, to buy from Scammels. Um, and we're talking about the head honcho going by then. Over this way, got something special to show this week. Um, amongst the um, a couple of reproduction pieces, again, lovely chiffoniers, nice circular table and chairs. Trunks are lovely, both a, a flat one and a dome topper. These, uh, these three, <laughs> Fred Astaire and uh, meant to be Ginger Rogers, but probably actually Tina Turner, uh, more like it. Uh, the ship's cabinet in the back, I'm just going to cross camera for the moment. Ship's cabinet in the back, this is quite a nice piece, around about 1840s, 1850s. Nice part about this, it's got the drawers down one side, so these would have originally been for maps or logs or the like. Beautifully fitted out inside. This needs a fair bit of help um, in, in the sense that there's some cracks and things, but it's a quite a solid piece. Um, again, quite a rare piece. This is a good buy, you know, under $500 for this type of thing. Over this way, Germanic time. Here we go. Okay, this came in just out of the blue. Uh, lovely piece. This is as German as uh, Germany can get, so South Australian, Barossa region, we think around Tanunda. We're not sure whether it's um, a great piece um, or a shadal piece. It isn't signed, um, but it's very, very, um, very, very Germanic in this styling. 
secret drawer up the top there, even though it has got secret etched into it. Um, this is uh, absolutely synonymous with the, the, the Germans at the time. Comes down to a lovely shaped drawers, block feet as well. Quite a nice piece, this one in cedar uh, with a carcass timber of pine. So I'll open this one up if I can. Actually, I'll show you the, while I do that, the leather uh, escutcheons, these are quite rare and they're intact. They're actually sitting behind handles, so lovely piece. It's got um, cedar with a pine carcass. Um, these days, $600, you know, when we're doing these 15 years ago, we were selling these for probably around about 1,500 to 2,500, depending on whether they're signed or not. So $600, this is an absolute bargain. Over this way, lots on this week. Uh, tennis chairs, a little bit of hue on pine, Coca-Cola, this is great. Um, long board, this one's a Ron Moyer, uh, it needs a lot of help this one, it's really a showpiece, uh, hang it up inside um, the shed, the uh, house, make it into a bar, um, whether it's a, a you know, served beer or even a coffee, coffee bar, uh, it has got the Ron Moyer uh, signature and logo, or not signature but his logo in there as well, a good 50s, 60s piece, last one we sold I think it was in timber around about $700. These are getting very, very collectible. Over this way we go, uh, all sorts. Foundry moulds, uh, still selling really well. Something just right for uh, winter time. There you go. Um, lovely little uh, chimney style of heater. This one's quite a special. We call this one the Rundle Mall Bike. <laughs> so when you leave your bike there over a few days, that's about all you're uh, really going to expect uh, to be left. So without the wheels, um, really a downhill piece. That's pretty good for Scammels this week. Let's head into the Smalls with Adrian and see what we've got in there. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Smalls area, the Collector's Gallery. We've got all sorts in here this week. Look, we're still frantically unpacking boxes uh, as we speak. We've got boxes and boxes of Smalls this week. We've got all sorts of things from signs through to Papua New Guinean. Uh, look at these, the, the ball masks. These are always, always a good decorative thing for the house. Blending very well with the contemporary setup as well. Fantastic, good original uh, items here. Uh, well worth a browse at Scammels on Monday. So we'll go through Toby. I've got Toby uh, on the camera today, so we'll have a look through, mate. Now we've got toys. Oh, toys this week. One of our regulars bought in lots of toys, modern toys. You talk Thomas the Tank Engine. Look, we love Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, there he is. Yep, absolutely. Some of those. Uh, mixture of all sorts this week. Earthenwares, vintage radios. This is a lovely little radio. Whoop, watch out for that there. There we go. It's a lovely little air zone Bakelite radio. Quite sought after those little ones these days. Uh, we find that a lot of uh, there's a lot of collectors out there for vintage radios. Uh, those of you rock stars out there, oh look at that, there's an electric guitar. Look, I can't play one, but if you can play one and you're any good, you can make your money back in minutes at Rundle Mall with this one. So there we go, there's that one for a start. Let's go through, Toby, there's all sorts. I actually haven't had a look through here this week, but we'll just go through. Here's one that we'll, we'll sort of emphasise a little bit on. That one there, that's a Royal Winton, uh, that's a hazel teapot. These we used to get well over $1,000 for in good condition. This one here is unfortunately damaged. They started reproducing this. Uh, so the price, unfortunately, the value of these has gone down. Um, so that sort of thing there, we're probably looking around sort of $80 or so for that sort of thing these days. Uh, so a good mixture through here. We've got Silvac. There's a Silvac little uh, pixie rosebud bowl. They're quite sought after. This is something that always sells quite well. This is a Port Mirian. Uh, that's a botanic garden design. It's a lovely uh, decoration, lots of butterflies, floral decoration on that. Some great pieces there. If you're into swords, these are lovely. Have a look at the quality of these. Watch your fingers when you pull these out though. We have a range of these on, on sale at Scammels on Monday. Uh, so well worth a look as well if you're, if you're into that sort of thing. Let's go this way, Toby. Okay, radio controlled helicopters. How good are these? They're exceptionally expensive to buy retail, but what beauties. We've got, we've got a few of these this week. I think we've got these two here with the engines still in them. Uh, we've got two that are in parts that need TLC as well. Massive range of smalls, massive range of uh, like toys, uh, good collectible toys, lead figures. Uh, we've got the zoo. We've got the whole zoo here. The grizzly bear looks like me when I wake up in the mornings. Uh, good mixture all, of all sorts in here into the collector's cabinet. Oh, here we go. For the wood plane collectors, here we go. Look at that. Still in the original box. So that's a record. These are actually quite sought after. Good little combination plane and seem to sell quite well. I don't think this one's been used that much actually. It's a little beauty. Okay, so there we go. There's that one there. Uh, Japanese tin plate toys. Here we go. There's a ray gun. That's a universe ray gun. Check that out. 1960s at its finest. Let's see if it works, Toby. Certainly does. Still in working order, there we go. 
So good range through here this week. We've got trench art, we've got money boxes, cast iron, uh, we've got all sorts of things in there. Uh, we've even got a bugle, we've got a mixture of all sorts of things. Here we go, let's go down here. Uh, okay, oil bottles, these are clean skins. But I'll tell you what, we're offering some fantastic petronalia on Saturday morning uh, in the Great Collector's Auction. Uh, that is up online at the moment, sale 745, uh, the Great Collector's Auction. Look, that's probably all for this week, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, we're, we're still unpacking boxes as we speak. Uh, feel free to check out www.scammerlauctions.com.au. Uh, feel free to have a look at that. It's a great website. Obviously, we run that website there. So our photos will be up on Friday evening around about 8 o'clock. So well worth a browse for you, and we'd love to see you here Monday.